Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to the great big card swap. This is our first video showcase for October 2022. And our theme this month is embossing. That includes embossing folders, heat embossing, embossing paste. We're covering all of the all of the bases. If your card uses some type of embossing, it is ready for this swap. Tonight I'll be sharing 55 cards with you that use an embossing technique or two on them. If you're unfamiliar uh, with the great big card swap, this is how it works. You send in a card, you get to see them all, and then you get a card back. I'll mix up all these cards and send one card back to each person who sent in a card. If you'd like to get in on this, our next video showcase will be in two weeks. I can't remember the day offhand and my calendar's not nearby, but it is the, uh, we'll have our next video showcase on the fourth Tuesday of the month. We always do the second and fourth Tuesday. I believe that is Tuesday, the 25th of October. Uh, but you can also send ahead right now for November. So our, our October theme is embossing. So the next video will also showcase cards that use embossing techniques and our showcases in November. There will be two on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. Our theme is Christmas. Make sure if you're sending for Christmas that you mark your envelope with November or Christmas so that I know to hold your card until November um, and not showcase. It just makes it easier for me to sort things out. Just a couple of reminders when you're sending your cards, make sure to include a loose postage stamp to cover the return postage. I'll provide all the envelopes. And you want to make sure not to write inside of your card. If you'd like to include a note, you can do so on a sticky note or a loose um, paper. But don't sign the inside because the whole idea is that... Um, Everyone gets happy mail back and then you can pass that card on and bless somebody else. So you get some happy mail and then we'd love for you to send that happy mail on to others. Just keep the happy mail chain going. Oh my goodness. So if you'd like to participate in the Great Big Card Swap, you can send your cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. If you are living outside of the United States, you can still participate. We would love to have your cards in our Great Big Card Swap. There's a link in the video description to a PayPal button where you can purchase three international postage stamps for return postage. So check that out and please, um, please, 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 we'd love to see your cards. Um, just make sure that you're sending with plenty of time um, before the, the theme. So if you're sending from outside of the United States, I would say definitely send a Christmas card just to make sure it comes in time. Um, although if your card arrives late after the video showcase, I'll still show it in the next video and still swap it out. So no worries, there is, <laughs> there is no, no way to screw this up. You'll If you send a card, you'll get one back. We do limit it to one card per person per month, um, just so that it's not so overwhelming for me to go through and send back. I can't wait to show you the cards today. You guys are going to really love these cards. As I said, there's over 55 cards to share from all over the United States. I don't think we have any international cards this time, um, but we often do from Canada and we have France and Australia. So, um, like I said, I definitely invite uh, international stampers to participate. We always love seeing what you're creating around the world. But let's jump in. I kind of sorted these out today, and um, I sort of sort I sort have um, sorted by technique. So one of the embossing techniques that I think of when I think of embossing is heat embossing. And if you're not familiar with how to do heat embossing or any of these embossing techniques, check out the link in my video description. I'll also try to add an I card in the corner um, where I showed you some different embossing techniques and demonstrated cards like this one with the carved wood technique. This one with the faux embossing technique, we used a little embossing paste to make this card and we also did some heat embossing where we made this card. And this one also showcases the heat embossing. So if you're not familiar with that technique, essentially you're going to stamp with a special um, ink pad, like an embossing pad or Versamark ink. Then you're going to sprinkle some powder over the ink. 
and then heat that powder for a raised image. So I used gold embossing powder here and the background was done with embossing folder. So that's kind of a two for one. We've got two different embossing techniques on that card. So check the video description if you would like to learn some embossing techniques, I'd be happy to show you how. Um, and I don't wanna exclude anyone. So if you don't have any materials at home, um, like embossing folders, embossing paste, heat embossing, send me um, an email or leave a comment and I will be happy to send you um, some pre-embossed pieces like to do the background. So that's going to be like something like this. Um, I'd be happy to send you a couple pieces so that you can create a card to share with us. But we're jumping in in our first few cards. Use the heat embossing technique. You can see that on the background here of this soft seedlings card. We've got the gold embossed image of the leaf and then the stamped die or fussy cut image on top. This one is from Debbie Lindauer and oh my goodness, I'm just digging these colors. Petal pink with the gorgeous gold spots underneath. You know, I thought that was designer paper at first and I'm realizing now that it's the dots and spots dye with gold foil cardstock underneath. That is stunning, Debbie. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. So gorgeous. And so fall. I don't think of petal pink for fall a lot, but it really is a fantastic fall color. Here's another one using the same stamp set. This one is from Carrie Zacharias, and she used the tuffeted embossing folder for the background and then did some heat embossing for the sentiment here. It's so grateful. Punched with a double oval punch. Really gorgeous here. I love the different colors on the soft seedling leaf just absolutely beautiful another fussy cutting job um there that's something i don't always do very often but it is so so stunning beautiful card carry here's a fun one from mercy ermakoff she used the heat embossing technique for the pumpkin and the sentiment and she used the kindest gnomes as well as the hello harvest stamp so check this out it is a double slider card they slide at exactly the same time isn't that cool? Oh my goodness. I've done a card like this. I'll try to um, leave a comment in the video description so you guys can check it out. My tutorial, this one's a little bit different and Mercy said she was inspired by Tina Zink to create this one. I kind of like the different shape of this card with the square and then the rectangles that come from the side. Such an amazing card. Oh my gosh, Mercy, thank you so much for sharing that one with us. Next up, oh, this is an awesome layout from Lori Wataki, and she's using the Lovely as a Tree stamp set with some copper embossed. Oh my gosh, I love that. This technique with the color blocking and the designer paper is so beautiful. I'm loving, there's that light color, that light pink again with the pretty peacock and soft suede. Such a beautiful card. Oh my gosh, I just love it, Lori. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Another heat embossed card with Hello Harvest. This one is from Mary Jane Martinez and she has heat embossed the pumpkin and then colored that in so beautiful. It looks like maybe colored pencils on that. And then we've got a little gift card pocket on the inside. That's awesome. You are such a blessing. Love a little die cut leaf there from the perched in a tree. I just noticed my inky fingers. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a great card. I, I just love fall. You guys know fall is my favorite. <laughs> and so fall cards always, they always get me. This one's beautiful too. This is the Your Peach bundle um, and designer paper. Not so much fall, but gorgeous colors. It could be fall. This one is from Judy Howard. And Judy, I almost didn't recognize it because you didn't have your deckled edge. Instead, we've got this beautiful scallop border which you can find in the scallop contour dies, which also has the rectangle label where we have the heat embossed sentiment. Such a great card. I love this little layout and I'm digging all those scallops. Well, our next few cards have a little bit of both, both heat embossing and embossing folders. And so this one's from Jake Myers. Love this fun fold here. She's got um, the, the dry embossed or the embossing folder there. And then Jake always does some special mix of embossing powder here. Everyone tells me to follow my dreams. So I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I love that. And Jake, thanks so much for including a little extra, extra in there. I know someone's going to be really, really excited to get those extra die cuts here. Just the sweetest. And so is this card. Thank you so much, Jake. We've got a couple more cards where we have a combination of embossing powder and and um, the embossing folder. So this one is from Sean Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. We have the embossing folder in the background, the gingham one, and then the um, heat embossed image there. This is from 
the celebration wonderful world set a coordinating stamp set and design your paper loving the color here the orchid oasis so beautiful that's one of the in colors that is um that just came in this spring really fun color almost like a, a real cross between blue and purple beautiful card sean thank you so much for sending that in check out this one i'm digging this navy this is from michelle cole who did a heat embossing on the sentiment there with some gold and then we've got an embossing folder in the background love this paper and the color combination with the navy and the cajun and of course the gold foil accents really beautiful um and the embossing folder from spellbinders i actually saw this embossing folder on a couple other cards it's very similar to the Stampin' Up! Leaf Fall embossing folder. Just beautiful with the leaves, but you know, I'm partial. <laughs> I'm partial to that leaf embossing folder because um, I love, I just love fall so much. Um, <laughs> I feel like I say that way too often. Next card is from Margaret Burkett, and this is so beautiful. We've got this orangey copper foil paper, which she's embossed here with the tintile embossing folder. Then the embossed pumpkin which has the leaves on it oh my gosh so much texture embossed sentiment here die cut with stitch rectangles and then the old world paper embossing folder in the background all the texture on this is just amazing so beautiful these colors a little watercolor in here with the yellow and the orange and red and a little bit of green on top of the leaves as well such a dynamic card you guys, I'm in heaven with all your beautiful cards. This one's from Sue Wozniak. Beautiful embossing powder, embossing folder in the background, and then the copper embossed sentiment here. That pumpkin, leaves, and the flowers all are from that Hello Harvest stamp set. You are such a blessing. Oh, this card makes me happy. Happy! <laughs> Some more fall cards with more embossing folders our next few cards all use the same embossing folder you can see it best on this card so we'll start there clean and simple for barb apke i love that you can just add a sentiment to that and really i feel like you could use this card for any occasion with a simple 3d fern embossing folder so it's this same embossing folder on all of the following cards this one from d chamberlain um, loving how she paired that with the designer paper from the rustic harvest where she colored in the leaves with um, i'm gonna guess stampin blends and or colored pencils so dynamic with the colors here just beautiful i love that black background with the colored flowers it really pops Great card, D. Next up, two cards that use it with their traditional nature's print um, stamp set and bundle. That's in the annual catalog, and that's where you'll find the Fern 3D embossing folder. It comes in that suite. Really beautiful monochromatic cards here. The first one from Joan Talent um, using the Starry Sky. That's another one of the new ink colors. I really love the white on white. Um, just so classic. And white here as well, paired with Garden Green. This one's from Joe Williams. And she cut out looks like fussy cut the edges to allow those ferns to just pop against the green background which is on the inside what a great card joe thank you so much for sharing that i'm really digging that fern i'm gonna get that out and use it some more i've never thought to pair it with christmas but this card is so beautiful from dorothy mccurdy i love how she added some of the fussy cut images from the boughs of holly designer paper some of the wooden embellishments which she colored with stamp and blends and a um, little bit of glitter paper back there too just so beautiful seasons greetings I was gonna say maybe that looked like it was embossed but i think it's just red ink love that fern embossing folder like i said i didn't think to use it for christmas but it works beautifully all right next up we have a whole bunch of cards using the leaf embossing folder um the first bunch are using the stamp it up embossing folder but a lot of the other ones that are from a different company look really similar too so you can do all these cards i think with either embossing folder any leaf embossing folder that you have so beautiful so this one from um nareda hopefully i said that right nareda hernandez um, she used that embossing folder on foil paper and vellum and cardstock. I just love the layering. So dynamic and so much dimension here. Thinking of you, what a great sentiment. Uh, just fits so many different occasions. Oh, occasions. Such a beautiful card. I really love using that embossing folder. It looks so different on the different types of cardstock, I think. 
Um, here's a beautiful card from Debbie Popish, and I think she sent an extra for me. Debbie, thank you so much for the double card. We have some heat embossing going on here with a scary cute bundle, and then that embossing folder with blended colors. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. It really pops on that white cardstock. So we've got some gorgeous grape and some granny apple green, maybe parakeet party here, a little crushed curry, pumpkin pie, and some more gorgeous grape, maybe even rich raspberry. So beautiful the way it pops with the black. Oh my gosh, and I love the little detail on the trick-or-treaters too. Debbie, thank you so much for this gorgeous card and thanks for sending an extra for me. You are a dear. This card from Anna Hansen really showcases the beauty of this leaf file embossing folder. It doesn't need a whole lot because the embossing folder is so beautiful on its own. Happy fall, y'all, says it perfectly. Love the colors here. We've got crushed curry, a little Cajun craze, and crumb cake for our card base. Next card is from Marilyn Edens, and she's used that leaf fall embossing folder in the background, along with some rustic harvest designer paper, and then an older Stampin' Up! stamp set with the leaf and the Grateful For You stamp set. Oh, loved it, love it, love it. Oh, and the heat embossed greeting. Sometimes I miss that. I like the little um, embellishments here on this side that work so successfully on a long strip. Those are the rustic metallic. No, not rustic. I think just, no, the brushed metallic. We, we have so many metallic embellishments. Brushed and rustic and brushed rustic. <laughs> it's hard to keep them straight. I believe this is the brushed metallic and it comes with some different colors, including that beautiful copper, which is so perfect for fall. Oh, here's another beautiful one with the same embossing folder from Lynn Werner. She used white cardstock and then sponged. Probably a sponge dauber is what I'm guessing to add some different colors here. Red, green, purple, yellow. And we've got the, um, the stamped and die cut leaves. Some of the smaller ones use the little embosslet, which embosses and die cuts at the same time. You are the nicest. Perfect use of the linen thread and those brushed dots again. Just so perfect. Love it, Lynn. Beautiful, beautiful. Reminds me so much of the colors of the season. Here's one from Jennifer Crabtree. And this is, I think, that Spellbinders embossing folder. It looks so much like the Stampin' Up! Leaf Fall. Uh, it could be interchangeable. So beautiful here, these colors, the light orange or the dark orange and green. Just beautiful. Let our lives be full of thanks and giving. What a perfect sentiment for this season. I think this is the same embossing folder. Two versions here. I get to keep one. Thank you so much, Lori Sorrells. Um, and I don't know. I can't decide which one to choose. We've got one on the Mary Merlot and one on Mossy Meadow cardstock with a copper foil. Really, they both complement the foil paper so well. So leave a comment and let me know which of these would you choose. The sentiment here, Autumn Wishes, is also embossed with copper to coordinate with the paper. This embossing folder is just gorgeous. So beautiful, a little bit different. I'm gonna show you. Uh, this embossing folder, it looks like it is all leaves, whereas the one from Stampin' Up! sort of has this like cascading or leaf fall. That's why it's called leaf fall. Um, but when you put it on a card front, you still get most of it um most of it filling the card or this way too so just a just a difference in the folders but i think you could use those folders interchangeably and create similar cards as we've seen today just gorgeous Lori. thank you so much again for sending an extra card for me both of these cards use the same embossing folder so i thought i'd bring them out at the same time this is the Painted Poppies embossing folder from the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. It's a newer one um, in the catalog that came out in the spring. This first one's by Pat Stewart. I think she said this card design was from Laura Bardo. Oh gosh, I love Laura. <laughs> I usually see her on incentive trips and it's been a little while since we haven't had an incentive trip in person in a little while. Um, this card is so beautiful. I love how you sponge different colors on the different flowers here. And the great color combination too. Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, and a little bit of, um, looks like Tahitian Tide maybe. Such a beautiful bright blue. I love this just a note as well. You could send this card for so many different occasions. Same embossing folder here. This was done with Hues of Happiness designer paper. This one's by Jan Waters. And um, I'm not sure if she did it or if it's just the cracking of the paper. But when you emboss with designer paper, you can then do a little sanding and get the white paper underneath. Just kind of a different look. In fact, I think, let me pull out. I wasn't going to show this one yet. It's 
later on in here, but this is the technique used on this card by Judy K. Meek. She used an embossing folder and then did a little sanding, and so you can see some of the white from the paper showing through, and I just love the way it highlights the different edges of the embossing folder. Not sure if Jan did it here or if it was just normal cracking, but you could do it and really highlight that a little bit more there. Such a great card, really beautiful and simple, but this embossing folder, I think, speaks for itself. Jan, lovely, 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 and Judy's card uses um, a beautiful snowflake stamp set with the die cut glitter snowflakes. She says she used the Light to Glow designer paper. Oh my gosh, I love that inside. Stamps and dies can't remember. The sentiment is from the greatest part of Christmas. I just, I do love it so much, Judy. Thank you for sharing that gorgeous card. I love the colors especially. Beautiful, so much dimension with all the little sparkles and the glitter on this one. Here's one, this was in the January through June catalog. We had this um, great embossing folder with the heart die cut. Um, really, uh, <laughs> really awesome um, texture here with the colors. This one's from Marilyn Kane and a little embossed greeting on the center there to the one I love. I love this embossing folder and dies because you could use it for so many different occasions like a wedding, anniversary, Valentine's Day, and it had sentiments that went along with it as well. Um, next up is a card from Charlotte Nidigger. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful foil paper and the embossed poinsettias. Gorgeous. She has dipped a little bit of ink and sponged that on all the petals here of this gorgeous white poinsettia. On the inside, we have a little bit of um, smearing from the ink. Sometimes um, this happens with ink that um, it's like a craft or a dye based ink, especially metallic inks like this. Um, if you don't heat set it or emboss it, sometimes they don't dry completely. And so I think that's what happened here. Um, it kind of got a little smeary in the mail, um, but just such a gorgeous card. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. And look at that on the middle. I can't tell what that is. It looks like maybe some puff paint that's been colored um, or some kind of... Um, Maybe the paint is already colored, like the, um, oh, what is this? This one from Stampin' Up! The Pearlized Enamel Effects. It looks like that, except in gold. I love that. Beautiful, 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 Charlotte. Oh my gosh. I love that. I want some more poinsettias. <laughs> Next up, we've got a card from Anna Rebidou using that Hues of Happiness designer paper. A little rainbow honeycomb back here. Um, I think, I think that's designer paper. No, I think it's cardstock that she colored. Really beautiful, probably sponging. Um, that is just really, really beautiful. I love, I love the bright colors of this card. Melon Mambo for the card base, and then the fussy cut flowers from that designer paper. Beautiful, Anna. <laughs> I know anyone would love to get that for their birthday. Next up, this one's from Maya Galantine. What are we sticking together here? Oh, uh oh. I think that was the glue dot from the stamp. We'll just get rid of that so we don't have any card sticking issues. I love this. We have the tasteful textile embossing folder for the background with the die cut frame and then designer paper. And I love that image. Sending love your way. This card is just the sweetest, Maya. I love it so much. Uh, Full of love is the name of the stamp set. Call me Clover. Uh, cardstock. That's, a, that's an old one. <laughs> I'm really loving this design and think I might have to case this. Oh, more fun with embossing folders. I think the rest of our cards mostly are embossing folders. Um, oh, there's one more that's heat embossing. I should have brought that one forward. I'll show it next. It's just sticking out to me all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, this one is really fun. This is from Marsha Bolt. Bolty? Oh, Marsha, I'm sorry if I screwed up your name. We have the brick and mortar embossing folder with some ink on the embossing folder when you send it through. And that's how you get the lines, the colored lines between the bricks. Really beautiful. And then this is the Splendid Day, the Splendid Thoughts bundle um, from the mini catalog. Cajun Craze looks like terracotta, doesn't it? Really beautiful paired with So Saffron and Old Olive. Here's 
here's the one I was thinking was an embossing folder. And now I'm realizing, no, 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 no. This is heat embossing. This is a background stamp with the wooden planks embossed in white on black cardstock. Also the black or the white embossed greeting here with the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set. How graphic is this? I love this. The black and white, so stark in contrast to the beautifully colored sunflower. This one's from Linda Vanderspool. So beautiful, Linda. And if I'm remembering right, you sent an extra for me. Thank you so much. You are just such a dear. I love this card and uh, the, the bright, bold sunflower. Oh, more embossing folders. We're back over here to the mix. This purple one is gorgeous from Ellie Chivas. Uh, hopefully I said that right. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of this stamp set. Really beautiful. And um, we have the colors are, I'm going to say Wisteria Wonder. And, oh, that looks like a retired eggplant color. Oh my gosh, lots of blast from the past here. So beautiful. Ellie, thank you so much for sending this. I love that sentiment you were in my thoughts. It's just like thinking of you. So perfect for any occasion. This one's really fun. This one's from Wendy Langsat, and she stamped on white cardstock and did some um, different stamping here. We got all kinds of images and different colors and then embossed it. So you, when you do this technique, you want to stamp first and then emboss to get that textured stamping look. Uh, French foliage is the stamp set in some older Stampin' Up! colors and she's looking for a stamp buddy. If you want a stamp buddy, put your address and a little note inside your card. Um, and if you're interested and you get Wendy's card, you can send her uh, a note back and exchange cards. I love that so many of you guys are doing that and exchanging cards um, with people that you've received cards from. So that's so much fun. So the only way for you guys to share the address is I will not share your address out of privacy. So if you would like to exchange cards with someone, just include a little note inside the card. Make sure to include your address because that's the only way that your card buddy is going to get your address because I will, I will not share it. Um, so make sure you include that inside your note. Next up is one from Rachel Chazinski. This is so much fun. I did um, a tutorial and I'll link to it in the video description of this book binding card um, and also the quilt technique. These colors are fantastic. Uh, we got some misty moonlight and some um, calypso coral bumblebee and the... Um, Oh, soft succulent is the green. I was going to say mint macaron, but I think it is the soft succulent. So, so gorgeous. And I love this technique with the paper piecing. It's always good when you're putting these pieces together like this to run it through the embossing folder to kind of, it kind of like, I don't want to use the word cements, but it's sort of like is an extra way of securing the designer paper to, um, to the cardstock. In fact, there's another card. I want to bring it forward and show you really quickly if I can find it. Um, did we pass it already? Maybe we did already pass it. I don't think we did. Oh no, no, no. It's uh, it's in a different pile. Um, I, I got some cards that were just for me and I put those in a different pile to share with you on Thursday. Um, so all the extra cards that are just for me, I always share in Thursday night stamp therapy. So the card I'm thinking of um, is gorgeous and it has, I think it's from Diane Serafin and she, um, she die cut words on designer paper and then put it on the cardstock and embossed the whole thing. So it's sort of like, um, it looks kind of like embedded. It's really cool. I'll show you on Thursday, so be sure to tune in. <laughs> Next up is a card. I got a double of this one too. This is really fun. This card is from, um, Kathy Hohen and, um, hopefully I got that right. Hone. I'm trying to remember your pronunciation key. Hone, I think, right? H and then own. Home. Um, this is really, really cool. I got to show you. She's got um, her instructions here. So I'm going to pause on this. If you would like to do a screenshot. This is kind of like a, a box fold is I think what I would call it. And um, oh, I hate to, I hate to undo the ribbon. Um, oh, I will do my best to tie it back up pretty. Um, so we, you undo the ribbon and then it kind of folds up, like unfolds like this, like a box. And so it's got the two pieces of cardstock that are two gate folds that then kind of open in opposite directions and then 
they fold up like that into a box. Isn't this cute? I love the little presents and the tag. I'm not going to try to, maybe I will try to. <laughs> I was going to say I'm not going to try to do this on camera, but I'm going to give it a quick tie. Um, I'll straighten it out so it looks a little nicer for the person who gets it, but I wanted to show you the inside of that. Isn't that cool? Love, love, love that fun fold and a little little card inside, um, a little note to a potential a potential swapper. So thank you so much, Kathy, for that awesome card. I always love it when you guys do some fun folds. So fun. Here's one from Peg Herrick with that cupcake. I can't remember the name of it. Let's see if she's got a note in here. Um, nope, I don't see a note in there. Uh, last time, I think it was Trina that used this cupcake and I called it the Harry Cupcake. And I felt so bad that I said that because it didn't mean it like bad, but that's just how I remember this cupcake. It was a celebration stamp set and so much fun. It doesn't look like hair when it's pink. It's just frosting. That's all it is. Little texture on there. Speaking of texture, I love that background embossing folder and then the um, embossing folder here. Sprinkled with love, pink, black, and white. Such a great classic combination peg. Thank you so much for that card. I think there was an extra for me in there too, Peg, so thank you for that. Here's a card from Diane Serafin. I'm going to show you. This is one of the cards and envelopes for the Texture Chic um, set, and she said that she had to use a bigger card because the embossing folder fit that, and I don't think you could really do this embossing folder on a smaller card. These cards and envelopes are available in the annual catalog, and I will send on this envelope to whoever gets this card. If you ever have an odd size um, card, then go ahead and send an envelope if you have one for it. Otherwise, I'll do my best to find it. Um, and cards like this that actually came in a set, um, it's hard to tell, but the background on this has the um, sort of wood grain and then these like um, the splatters in the different colors. Really so, so gorgeous. Love the sponging on that embossed image. And then on the inside, we've got that die cut pumpkin from the Rustic Harvest Suite, that Hello Harvest bundle. So pretty to do that with designer paper. Just adds so much texture and the pattern there and a little bit of ribbon on the inside. Beautiful, beautiful card, Diane. I just love that. Similar colors on this card. I do love these colors for fall. Jean Schickman did this one with the striped embossing folder in the background. This is the um, hand um, hand penned blooms, I think, is the name of the bundle. It's a two-step stamp set. So you got the outline in black and then the, um, the other images that stamp into the flowers and leaves. The colors here looks like, um, I'm going to guess, retired tangerine tango, more mustard for the yellow, and then um, a nice bright green. Thinking of you. Oh my gosh. I love the colors. I love the, uh, the stamp set here too, beautiful card. And that pop of black around the edge, I think really just frames out this card nicely. Similar colors here. Oh my gosh, I just love these colors for fall. This one's by Teresa Reed and she's used a fun paper technique where she's got some different de designer paper cuts on the black cardstock and then the whole thing in the embossing folder. So this is when you're gonna wanna place those paper pieces first and then emboss the whole thing at once so you have that continuous design over the different patterns. Such a great card. First time swapping, you you did everything right, Teresa, except next time don't sign your name on the card. Gather here with your grateful hearts. Oh my gosh, I love that on the inside. Um, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we want to make sure to keep the cards blank inside. Don't sign it. You can put a note, like a sticky note or a loose note in there if you'd like to say hello or sign your name. Um, and you're welcome to put whatever you'd like on the back. Your normal maker marker is fine, um, but we want to leave the inside side blank so that whoever gets the card can send it on and bless somebody else. Teresa, I'm so glad that you're participating in the great big card swap. Thank you so much for sending in your beautiful card. I hope you enjoy the card that you get in return. Next up, we've got a card from Juanita Dotson. This is uh, the vases, vases in Vogue or something like that, I think. Oh, this is fun. She tried the grid technique for embossing. So I'm guessing that Wendy didn't have any embossing folders, so she used her paper trimmer, or you can also use the Simply Score tool to create the grid. She did that on the colored cardstock here and on the focal image there. And let me just show you really quick. Let's just do that with the, um, with the paper trimmer. So um, to do this technique, you can do it at any interval that you want. I'm trying to find a smaller piece that I can't, so we'll just cut it. <laughs> um, okay, to do this technique, you're just going to use your scoring blade 
and that's the lighter blade on the paper trimmer and you're going to score every half inch so i'm going to start with the paper let's open it up start with the paper at half inch and score and just keep moving it and score every half inch and of course like i said you can use different intervals if you want to have them closer together you could do a quarter inch or one inch and then you're going to turn well you could do it like that if you want you can use either side to have the raised edges or the debossed edges and so this is kind of a fun way to add some texture to your card and to do some simple sort of embossing look or you can turn it and you can do the same thing the other direction to create a grid so again just creating fun designs with your paper trimmer and scoring blade or with the Simply Score tool. So if you don't have an embossing folder, you could try something like this for your card. So you can either use that side and stamp and sponge, or you can use this side and you have sort of that raised emboss look. Another technique if you don't have embossing tools is to do something like I shared in another video with the faux embossing. So this is the look of embossing where I just took punched images in the same color as the background and staggered them um, on the background. So it kind of looks like you have raised images, but um, you don't because it's just paper on paper. I mean, they are raised in that way, but it's not, it's not an embossing folder. Um, and so neither is this. So just a couple different techniques if you want to participate in the embossing swap but don't have any special tools, try one of those um, to get the look of embossing on your card. So nice job, Juanita, doing that grid technique. I love it both diagonally and over here on the card base. Such a great way to add texture to your card. The next two cards use the same embossing folder. You can see it a little better here, so I'll start with this one. This is the Quatrefoil embossing folder. This one's in the annual catalog. Love, love these colors. Mango Melody Cajun Craze, little mossy meadow here. This metallic and shimmer designer paper is in um, it's in the July through December mini catalog. And then I think this is the Sending Smiles um, stamp set. Hey, I got it right. I love it when you guys put a little list in there. This card's from Sue Hines. Love the stamping on the inside too. Um, love this card. Love the layout. Love the colors. I love everything about it. So the Quatrefoil embossing folder is the same one used on this card. And this one's from Jenny Oliver. She used, um, she said she was inspired by I, um, a quilt card that I shared in a Sunday stamping video and I just did little um, little squares and then glued them all down and then used an embossing folder over the top such a great easy card this is just a four and a quarter by four and a quarter um, card we've got the decorative circle punch and the rectangular postage um, stamp punch there the designer paper on this one is the lasting and lovely uh, or maybe that's the name of the bundle um, Lovely Linen is the name of the designer paper and the suite that's in the annual catalog where this came from. Next up, some more embossing with really amazing textures. We've got the Scotty Dog and then also some embossing on the background. I don't know what this card is called. This one's from Patricia Williams. We had a card, I think, another time that had this um, really awesome fold. And um, it comes out like this. I feel like I'm fussing with it so much. I don't think it's supposed to be flat like that. I think it just stands up like that. It's hard to kind of get the angle on this, but um, it has sort of this box mechanism on the bottom, but it stands on its own and then you have that easel. Isn't that really cool? Folds flat for mealing. Love the colors on here, the black and white um, and the, the pop of dark red, really beautiful. Patricia, thank you so much for sharing that amazing card. Another embossing folder here. This one is from the Wintry Mix embossing folder. This is a set of smaller embossing folders, not these, but similar size that you can find in the annual catalog. And uh, one of the embossing folders is the Snowflakes. Oops, my card is upside down. <laughs> this one's from Cherith Day. Um, and she said she used the, the um, Cold Play stamp set to get those different um, snowman pieces. This poor snowman has melted and we're so sad that we won't get to see them until the next season. Love these colors for a winter card. We've got some balmy blue, real red, and then the white and black. 
crumb cake for the card base. Such a great card, Cherith. Thank you so much for sharing that. We're going from the winter to the beach on this card from Rose Spivey using the um, Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set bundle with the hybrid embossing folder. You know, I don't think it was a hybrid one. I think it just had a die that coordinated with the embossing folder. And it was the seashells or seaside embossing folder um, that is also used on the background. So much texture on this card. So beautiful. I love it. I would love to spend my birthday at the beach. So <laughs> I think anyone would enjoy receiving that card. Next up, a card from Cindy Bovet, And she used that wonderful world designer paper. That was a celebration offering. Level two during the July and August celebration this year. The fussy cut image came from that designer paper. And then we have the... Um, something meadow embossing folder pack. It was another small embossing folder pack that had two um, embossing folders in it. Really great color. Soft succulent is the background green here and the color for the stamped image or the stamped sentiment rather, thinking of you. Next up, a monochromatic card using Fresh Freesia. This one's from Diana Barber. And I love the stitched embossing folder here. That one's really fun with the white on the Fresh Freesia background and then some different um, die cuts. I love the little butterflies too, the brushed brass butterflies. Thank you, Diana, for sharing that fun card. I love Fresh Freesia. It's one of my favorite ink colors in that grouping, which is going to retire in the spring. I'll be sad when it goes away. This card's from Beth Barney, and she used the Time Worn Type embossing folder. This is one of my favorites. I really just love the texture. Really great for a background like she's done here, adding some... Um, Stand, I'm sorry, punched flowers and then the die cut banner. My thoughts are with you. This would be such a good sympathy card. I think you could send that for all kinds of reasons, but I think I might send that for a sympathy card. Beautiful gems in the middle there. Definitely going to require some non machinable postage on this card. And you definitely can send in your non machinable cards for the great big card swap. I do just ask if you're sending a non machinable card that you send a non machinable stamp to go with it so I can mail that off to somebody to enjoy. Next up, a card from Nancy Lestrange. The, um, speaking of not machinable, uh, the postal machines had took a little bite out of that. Uh, such a gorgeous card, though. Using the same embossing folder as Beth's card. Can you see the similarities there? The time warm type. This one is raised, and this one is turned upside down, and it's sort of indented or debossed. The colors here are gorgeous with the metallics. Gold, and I love the brushed metallic circle frame. Little... Um, die cut from the brushed metallic foil as well. The leaves, I think this is the gorgeous leaf bundle. Um, and then we've got the little sprinkles as well. So beautiful and some stamping on the inside. I love that Nancy, beautiful card. Thank you so much for sharing um, that gorgeousness with us. Next up is a card from Mary Fudge. She sent two, so I get to choose one, and I couldn't decide, so I put them both in the pile so you could see. We're using the New Horizons designer paper here. Two different embossing folders. One of them is the Old World paper, and the other one is the Evergreen Forest. Um, just a little sneak, a little peek there on the side. I really love that. And we've got some stamped mountains on the designer paper over here, a stamped moon, and then the birds as well. Really great cards, Mary. Thank you so much for sending an extra for me. I'll be very excited to get to keep one of those. This or that, leave a comment and let me know which of these would you keep and which would you send on. I'm really kind of torn. I love the trees and I love the green on this card, but I also really love this um, pink and purple designer paper pattern. That designer paper was one of my favorite and I'm so sad it didn't stick around. A couple more cards. Next up, we've got some Halloween cards. This first one's from Joanne Prosser and she used both a embossing folder sponged with white ink to highlight the different um, the different spider webs and then also some embossing on the sentiment. We've got our glitter washi tape here. I love the glitter in her hat. Beautiful coloring job on our little witch and I love the little guys on the inside. <laughs> the frog and the spider too. Let's see. What is the name of this stamp set? I don't think she says. 
Beautiful card. Love, love, love that for Halloween. I would say cute card, not beautiful, because that witch is just adorable. Here is our one and only card with embossing paste. This one's from Katie McLean. Really fun fold card. I've been meaning to try this one. Some retired designer paper with the black and white designs. And then we've got the embossing paste on the inside. This is the glitter embossing paste. So much fun. If you haven't seen how to use the embossing paste, definitely check out that embossing techniques video in the video description. And um, and you'll see how that works. It comes in a little jar and you can use the palette knives to smear it over a mask in order to get the design. So this, we had a mask that had trees. And so they are so perfect for this spooky Halloween card. I just love that, Katie. And the scary cute die cut on the front, I think really sets the tone on this card. Love, love, love it. It's so perfectly Halloween night. Another Halloween card. We got a few stragglers in here. I think these all were coming in for the autumn or fall theme, which includes, of course, um, Halloween. So this first card is from um, Karen Karras, and she um, did this Halloween card with designer paper and then stamped the witch on there. I love this Halloween paper. I can't remember. Is it from a couple... Um, a couple of catalogs ago, really fun there. Um, and I think that is just a perfect spot for a little stamped image, Karen. Thank you so much for sharing that card. Next up is a card from Winnie. This is such a fun card kit. This is a paper pumpkin kit, Let the Adventure Begin. And I think it's just such a great little window, window card. Do you guys love to camp in the fall? I think that's a perfect time to go camping. And what a great, what a great card for fall. Next up, a card from Jennifer Olson. I love these little flower images. Welcome fall. She's done such a beautiful job coloring and fussy cutting those to go on the card. And then we've got, um, I was going to say stamped leaves, but I think, I think she maybe drew, drew those leaves really fun and then colored with the colored pencils. Great card, Jennifer. Thank you so much for sharing. Last, a beautiful card from Katie Marshall. I love all the layering here with the die cut and the ribbon and the designer paper, the stitching, autumn wishes and tasty dishes. That is one of my favorite parts of fall and autumn is the yummy dishes, right? It's time for soup. It's time for cider and hot drinks and all kinds of yum yums. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for tuning in you guys for our showcase. This was the great big card swap October 2022 part one showcase. If you'd like to get in on this card swap, you can send your cards to Julie Davison PO box 6164 Champaign, Illinois 618. Two, six. Our theme for October is embossing and our next video showcase will be in two weeks. So it's not too late. Go ahead and send your cards right now. The November theme is Christmas and you can send ahead for that. Just make sure to mark your envelope November. Don't forget to include a loose postage stamp inside and write your note on a loose paper or sticky note um, so that we can send your card on and keep the happy meal going. Thanks for watching tonight. Please leave a comment and let us know what cards you're excited about. What are you loving? What do you want to case? What do you want to learn more about and maybe try at home? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed all the project ideas that I shared and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future card making and swap videos. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great night and I'll see you next time. Bye.